Daddy, who's that man? My name is Dr. Kapoor. I'm going to help your mom. She can't see. Her eyes are broken. Then I'll try to fix them. Let's find a healthy snack, kiddo. Yeah. We'll be just outside. I see from your records, Marin. You had a rough time. Yeah. My organs, they shut down during Violet's birth. I couldn't stop bleeding. I was in the ICU for well, nine months. Ian had to make arrangements, just in case. But you survived? Mm-hmm. Well, most of me. So you developed an adenoma at the base of your brain. It's pressing on the optic chiasm and causing your blindness. Yeah, and everyone says they can't remove it because I can't have anesthesia because of my liver. That's right. But there is a new treatment, non-surgical. I won't even need to break the skin. How? It's MRI-guided focused ultrasound, non-invasive, no anesthesia, just one catch. Yeah, there's always a catch. Before I can address your brain tumor, we need to replace one of your heart valves, also weakened by Violet's birth. But I'm sure my colleague, Dr. Reynolds, can do that without anesthesia as well. Wow. I would love to see my daughter's face. I would love to see her eyes, I would. Oh, your patient can't withstand anesthesia. That's right, but if I can perform a procedure on the brain without anesthesia, you can certainly do the same thing for the heart. Yeah, the only non-invasive surgery is catheter aortic replacement therapy. Yes, do that. Which requires a CR device, which New Amsterdam does not have. So we'll get one. <laughs> yeah, sure, so we'll get one. A CR device costs $3 million. I made Marin Thompson a promise that I would help her see her daughter. I'll get you this device. Okay, Guruji, look, I can't even get my name on my own door. All right, they're not gonna just buy you a $3 million device. We will see about that. You really buried the lead on the whole Sea Art device, didn't you? Three, three million dollars? To be fair, you did say no matter the price. No, you're right. I really should have asked more prudent follow-up questions, like does it cost $3 million? To be clear, New Amsterdam will never get a Sea Art device. See, what I tell you, the system can't handle the small things. Why in the hell should we be surprised when they can't handle the big ones? Didn't let me finish. New Amsterdam will never get a CR device, so you should do the surgery at a hospital that does have one. What are you saying? University has a CR device. We have a patient. Peanut butter, jelly. So as our sister hospital, they'll let us do the surgery there? Not exactly, and definitely not for free. But her insurance won't cover university. Yeah, and then I can't do the surgery. No, you can't, but Dr. Merritt can. Last I checked, he's still credentialed at uni. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Impersonating another doctor is grounds for malpractice. I can lose my license, I can go to prison. Nobody is suggesting impersonating anyone, all right? You are the chair of cardiothoracic surgery at New Amsterdam, just say that. This is crazy, even for you. You wanna help the patient? This is how. Uh, 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 are you really talking about this? Sneaking a patient across the city into a university hospital? If the system can't handle the little things, then it certainly won't notice the big ones. Sure. Hit that GMSA, we're ready to transport one surgical patient to your pod. EMSA, copy that. University Hospital. <laughs> Dr. Nottingham, I'm here to observe a CR procedure as part of my residency. I called earlier. Observe who? The chair of cardiothoracic surgery at New Amsterdam. It's nice to meet you. Dr. Merritt? That's what it says on my door. <laughs> Pushing the delivery system up to the aortic valve. You're nearly there. How much longer? Uh-uh-uh. Don't rush me and I won't rush you. 
if we get caught, it's my name on the schedule. Well, Dr. Marin will cover for you. I didn't see anything. Thank you, Marin. She's in place. Got it. Inflating the balloon. Leaflets are moving. Marin, you'll feel some pressure. Nice and easy. Almost got it. All right. New aortic valves in place, deflating the balloon. Wonderful. Let's get her back to our hospital now. Dr. Reynolds. Oh, I see it. What? A bleed at the cath insertion site. It's a common side effect, but Marin's going to have to remain flat with the sandbag on her hip to keep the pressure on. For how long? It looks like you're going to have to do your procedure here as well. But I'm not Dr. Merritt either. Ready? <laughs> Will you be able to see me? Well, I hope so, honey. Almost there. <laughs> what do you see, Mrs. Thompson? Because in my head, in my heart, I see you so clearly, okay? I see you perfectly. I don't understand. I thought you said it was gonna work. You must have been destroyed. Surgery should have worked. There must be something we missed. see anything. May I touch your face to perform an examination? Yeah, it's fine. Please close your eyes. Mm. I would like to try to turn up rust. That's... Uh, what's wrong? Your eyes are harder than they should be. This indicates glaucoma might have developed, but there is no way you would have ever known about it. There's always a catch, right? Please lean your head back for me. Yeah. Blink. Beautiful drawing, baby. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yes, my love. I can see you. Can you see me? I can see you. I can't. <laughs> Does have its advantages. <laughs> <laughs> 